Hello, Somerville. My name is Ben Ewan Campen, and I'm running for re-election to represent the people of Ward 3 on the Somerville City Council. I'm running unopposed this year, but I'm excited to have this opportunity to tell you a bit about myself and what I've been doing to address the major issues facing our city. Before I begin, I want to share a statistic that has always stuck with me. If you look at voter turnout in Somerville, when it comes to presidential elections, we have enormous turnout. Typically, around 75 to 80 percent of Somerville voters make it to the polls for national elections. But when it comes to our local municipal elections in Somerville, voter turnout plummets to around 10, 15 percent. 20 percent would be a good year in most local elections. Now, I am very proud to say that when I was first elected in 2017 on a platform of affordable housing, economic justice, and fighting the influence of real estate developers, we spent a lot of time knocking doors and encouraging people to vote, and we helped to increase voter turnout to up around 30 percent. But I think it's clear that we still have a long way to go. So if there is one thing that I want to you to take away from this video, it is this. Your vote truly matters. All of us in your local government make important decisions that affect our daily life and the future of Somerville, and your vote makes an enormous difference in these elections. So thank you for being involved. My background is in biology. My day job is as a research scientist, but a few years ago, I was inspired to get involved in local politics because I did not think that Somerville was doing enough to address our affordable housing crisis. As all of you know, there is an incredible amount of development and change happening in Somerville. In Ward 3 alone, we've got the new high school building, three years of Green Line construction, three years of sewer reconstruction in Union Square, plus an enormous private development planned. Now, some of the change coming to Somerville is good, and some of it is bad, <laughs> but my fundamental concern is that the benefits, benefits and the costs are not being equally shared by everyone in our community. We know that too often the people who benefit from development are folks who are already doing relatively well, while the folks who pay for it are those who get forced out due to rising housing prices or small local businesses that close down when they can't afford rising rents. I think that our biggest challenge right now is to make sure that the benefits of all the change coming to Somerville are shared more equitably. That is why, over the past two years, I have been working so hard on policies to do just that. Here are a few concrete examples. When it comes to the massive development project in Union Square, I have stood with the community to ensure that the developer sat down and negotiated a community benefits agreement directly with the neighborhood. This is to make sure that we get the best deal possible when it comes to issues like affordable housing, good local jobs, open space, and environmental sustainability. I believe that this community benefits agreement will lead to major improvements in this project that would not have happened otherwise. And these will help make sure that more diverse people in our community can stay to see the benefits of this development. I'm also incredibly proud to have helped pass a new condo conversion ordinance to close loopholes which have allowed condo developers to evict hundreds of Somerville tenants each and every year without notification or relocation money. Our new policy closes those loopholes, and although developers in the real estate industry continues to fight us on this common sense solution, we will not back down. We've also been able to establish a whole new department at City Hall called the Office of Housing Stability, which has been fully staffed for only a few months, but has already helped hundreds of residents facing critical housing issues. I am very proud to have been part of passing a real estate transfer fee on developers in Somerville, which will generate millions of dollars every year for affordable housing. This fee completely exempts residents who live in their own homes, and it is targeted solely at developers and investors. Now, this bill is currently at the State House, and I am working with many others as part of a large coalition to get it over the finish line. Of course, the work we've been doing on our affordable housing crisis and development, that's just one part of what I've been focused on. As a member of the Traffic and Parking Committee, I have been deeply involved in working to redesign our streets to be safer for residents of all ages. And I believe that in the coming years, we are going to see major improvements. I also serve on the Confirmation of Appointments Committee, where I have been working to bring transparency and accountability to the many powerful boards and commissions in our cities and to the city's hiring policies. 
I recently led the charge to ban facial recognition te technology in Somerville, which is a powerful new surveillance technology that is being rolled out by law enforcement across the country without any regulations or guidelines. And I am incredibly proud that Somerville is now leading the nation on pushing back against this invasive, inaccurate, and unregulated technology. I am also deeply committed to taking bold action on climate change, on increasing public, green, and open space, and on good local jobs. And while we pursue all of this important work, my philosophy of government is that all of us in elected office must always be transparent and accountable. That is why I spend so much time working directly with residents who reach out to me. And it's also why I write a regular email newsletter that many of you read to make sure that all of you understand what your local representatives are doing. And also how I think about the big issues and the decisions that I have to make. If you'd like to sign up for that newsletter, please visit my website at benforward3.com. In the coming term, we have an enormous amount of work before us. And I am incredibly inspired and excited to represent all of you as we tackle these issues. I ask for your vote in November. I thank you for being involved, and I thank you for your support. Thank you.